Assalamu alaikum hey guys welcome back to another video of port forwarding playlist in this video i'll be showing you guys another method of port forwarding using two routers it's basically like a how to forward port double router port forwarding method if you watch my previous video about port forwarding and explaining port forwarding so you will know what is double router port forwarding method if you didn't watch my previous videos then i will strongly recommend to watch those videos to understand it better anyway let's back to our port forwarding method now i'll be using ptcl and tp link routers in my video but the method works for all routers and yeah i'll kind of suggest again to watch my previous videos for better understanding how it actually works so you will not stuck if you have any other router than ptcl or tp link by the way most of routers settings are all the same kinda so you can find your way to forward port easily so for right now stick to this video and you will learn how to forward port from your router and the main router to which your current router is connected so without any further ado let's get started as we need to access our routers in order to forward port but before that consider this diagram again so you get better idea what we are going to be doing now and understand how it's different from the single router met port forwarding method this is the router to which my laptop is connected right now in previous uh, method of port forwarding my laptop was connected to this ptcl router directly so we access this router and forward port but in this case we need to access to the two routers actually instead of one and also gonna need to forward port from these two routers now here's the thing first we need to access this router this wi-fi router secondary router and uh, forward port to my laptop then we need to access the main router so we can forward port from the router that router to this router which is secondary wi-fi router for this we first need to find out local ip address of the laptop and secondly we need to find out routers ip address as well to find out both the gateway actually the router ip address and your connected device ip address you need to open up uh, cmd you can uh, get it from pressing window and r button and on your keyboard and then type cmd and you will get this command prompt once you get this terminal you have to type ip config you will get all these info you have to look up for your uh, uh, connected interface through which you are connected to your router in my case is wireless lan adapter wi-fi your might be lan cable connection or maybe another external wi-fi adapter so make sure you know better which is the interface through which your de uh, device is actually connected to the router under your connected interface section you will have this ipv4 address this is actually your uh, ip for the laptop the connected device actually and the default gateway is actually the router's ip address through which we will uh, access the router okay now we got both ips i have noted down here right is it same yep we are good to go to for our port but by the way let me show you one other method which will show you that my laptop is connected to a secondary router and the router itself is connected to another main ptcl router and i will also get both routers ip addresses as well for this you will need to open cmd again you already have once you get this terminal type tracer uh, tigersplace.com tracer space and then tigersplace.com you'll start getting this uh, route information the first request is actually from our second wi-fi router to which my laptop is connected right now so this is kind of the first node and as you can see from this router the second request passes to the main router which is tender home basically my main ptcl router as you can see over here we don't need that uh, extra information all we need is the ip address and also to show you that I'm actually one router away from the main router. As you can see over here, I am connected to this router. Or here, this is the default gateway. And this is the second router. So we need to um, copy a uh, forward port from this and this. So we already have got this IP default gateway. And the main router IP is main router is 192.168.10. One, as you can see over here so we got both the IPs all the IPs actually so for current router to which I am connected right now its IP address is this one 
and for the main router is this one okay so now you need to understand that first I will access this router okay basically this router and forward port to my laptop mean I will give router this IP address uh, in this case it's actually 06 but uh, in real I have it's 0 0.103 so which is my laptop IP and will tell the router to forward any data with port 617 to my laptop then I'll also need to forward from the main router this router to the secondary router so in this way whenever main router receive any data from the internet with port 6117 it will forward to this router once this router uh, get the data it will forward to my laptop clear enough now let's do this port forwarding using two routers let me open the software tool um, first and try to check if our port is forwarded or not as I told you in my previous videos I will be using array to show you this practical method for your case you can use your needed tool whatever you want it can be game minecraft whatever so open this and generate and set port to 6117 and click start now on this point it means we are listening to port 6117 on our laptop so if in case some data get received to the router it won't pass it to my laptop because we need to forward it from the router as well so whenever some data in the router gets with this port it will forward it to our laptop so okay we are good to go just last thing to check our port without port forwarding and let's see what we get to check uh, your port status if it is forwarded or not visit can you see me dot org and here type your port 617 and click check my port assume that this site is kind of sending some data to our router uh, this ip is actually my public ip address this one so it means that this site is going to some send some data with the port 617 and as you can see uh, 617 isn't open or you can say not forwarded and that's why we are getting this error in our case port uh, 617 is open and allowed from all firewall but not forwarded from our router so we need to forward it from our router to forward port we need to access our router for that just visit um, your router and login this is actually the secondary router to which I am connected right now for uh, a login info you can use admin admin but if it doesn't work for you you can see um, the sticker info under your router there is kind of like the silver sticker as I told you in my previous video I think or in this video I forgot I almost forgot it anyway for me it's changed so once you are in the router you need to go to advanced settings um, or just you need to find NAT virtual server or forwarding section uh, in your router in some routers it's uh, NAT in others it might be for uh, port forward or virtual section in my case it's now forwarding as you can see over here now here you need to uh, provide your local IP address but before I have to click add new now uh, you need to provide your local IP address of your device which is in this case this IP address okay other than this I will need to provide both the fields internal and external port in some routers it might be service port and internal port as you can see over here you have to provide your port in both fields so the port is 6117 6117 now last thing is to select port type if your router support both TCP and UDP then select both if it doesn't have both uh, or all option then you have to select TCP as port type and by the way status should be enabled and then click save okay so protocol is actually um, all as I said it's port type and sometimes in some router it says protocol so basically it's the same thing status enabled and click save there we go our port is added it means now this port is uh, this port 617 is forward to my laptop but we are not done yet as i said we also need to forward from the main router if i check the port right now it will give me error still give me error because we only forwarded the port to my laptop but in this scenario the data isn't received to the router uh, let me check this port again and you will see it will give me some error there we go as you can see okay 
so we need to pass it from that router as well so this router can get data and then it will pass it to my laptop sounds good right but before doing that let me get the ip address of this router not the main gateway ip address but the WAN ip or you can say lane ip which is given to this router from the main router okay so from status you can get it uh, this one this is the ip of this uh, wi-fi router given by the main router okay so we don't need this anymore so now accessing the main router i got the ip right access the main router okay go to advanced settings now here advanced setup and we have to find an ID there we go now click add and custom service we have to choose custom service it's kind of like the command for this port actually so it's actually secondary wi-fi i'll just comment secondary wi-fi okay and the ip is F, of course three this is actually the secondary wi-fi router ip which we get it as meant ago okay so this is the ip the port 6117 6117 protocol is um, both by the way uh, you can select pre-select it's like predefined um, ports for games as you can see over here as a uh, age of empires for tools for messengers you can for servers ftp server so you can select any of the service from this list and if it's personal like for uh, red i don't find any port or name so that's why i'm using custom service click save there we go we are all set so whenever some data is received to this router with port 6117 it will pass it to the secondary router and from that router i'll get the data as i already forward port from that router to my laptop okay now let's see what the status of the port is so let's check it on the side can you see me dot org port is 6117 click check port and let's see and there we go as you can see the port is now open it means that i can receive data from all over the internet if it contains this this port 607 so that's it for this tutorial i know it was pretty long video i have recorded so far but hey when it comes to complete covering the method you have to deal with such long video to understand it better i hope you will find it helpful leave a like on this video if, if it is helping you out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the bell icon as well to get every single notification for my upcoming videos with that all being said i am logging out thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video with more tricks and tutorials peace and all office